Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brooke and I look like a ghost today because we are actually going over the new Frozen ColourPop collection. Now, full disclaimer before I start, I am not a makeup guru. I don't know everything. I do enjoy makeup. I like making makeup videos sometimes, but you know what? If my application isn't right or whatever, that's just how it is. We're gonna get on into this. I'm going to do some swatches for you guys. I'm going to apply it to my face and I'm gonna give you guys my first impressions. So what I did get from the collection, as you guys can tell, is I got the Anna palette and then I got the Elsa kind of fancy box. I think they call it like the PR box or something. So in the Elsa box, first of all, it's like a magnetic box, which I kind of like. It fully like snaps together. Um, and then opening that up, you see inside. So we have this uh, very shimmery lip gloss. We have a lipstick and then we have this like like eye gloss stuff and then we also have the Elsa palette as well so let's look at the Anna palette first and then we can get into the Elsa stuff so the Anna palette first off the packaging I I am obsessed with packaging of all kinds and this just screams at me so this purple is gorgeous and then there is this gold foil on here that is embossed and I guess it's more of like a bronzy gold foil anyway it's embossed it's gorgeous there is also a texture on the side here with a sparkly purple that is also embossed and it's beautiful like I don't even want to throw away this box this is so gorgeous we have the palette and I was so happy to see that the palette has the same thing on it so it has the embossed and it has has the texture and then it also has this absolutely gorgeous picture of Anna on it and I am just absolutely obsessed. So we open it up here we have the mirror up top obviously but there's whites there's browns there's purples and there's golds and I think it's just a really great color combination. I haven't obviously worked with it yet but I think this could actually be a really really good everyday palette especially for someone like me who does use a lot of the purple and brown tones on an everyday basis. I am super impressed with this palette and so glad I got it. The reason I didn't get the Anna collection was because I wasn't too convinced about the lipstick or the lip gloss in it so I'm gonna swatch it for you guys so I mean I guess I'll show you guys how I kind of do my swatches and then I'll just kind of show you each one so the first one is scooch in and I just take a little bit on my finger and then I'll just do it on the back of my hands and boom oh I was expecting that to be super white it has a little bit of like a gold tinge to it so this is scooch in this is wind, this is earth, this is adventure, this is Arendelle, I'm very excited for this. Oh, that did not work as good as I thought it was going to. Let's try that again. Some more on my finger. Okay, that's a lot patchier than I thought it was gonna be, but it's still really pretty. It's just a lot patchier than I thought it was gonna be. So this is warm hugs. Very nice. This is Fearless. And then this here is Charades. So those are all really, really gorgeous. The only one I'm kind of disappointed in is this one here. I have a feeling it was supposed to be like that because it is a very, very dry shadow when I kind of dipped my finger into it. It is going to be a really, really great topper, but it's definitely not a solid gold. Maybe if you put some Fix Plus or something on it. Okay, so I washed my hand off. And now we are going to go into the Elsa collection. So right off the bat, let's look at these three little things besides the palette first. So first off we have the lipstick and this is in the color Little Snow and it is a cream lipstick. So it has a gorgeous, gorgeous kind of maroony, reddy, purpley shade to it. I adore this. This is very similar to the shade Elsa wears in the movie and literally the whole time throughout the movie I literally just kept thinking I need a lip shade like that. I need a lipstick like that. That lipstick looks so good. I love that lipstick. I need that lipstick. So there we have one similar. We then have the lip gloss, which is a sparkly clear color. I like clear lip gloss the best. The brush, I was expecting one of those like foamy brush heads though. This does have a very like bristle brush on it, which I've never really had a lip gloss with that kind of brush head on it before. So it should be interesting to see. I can't see that working as well as like the foam kind of tip ones. So we'll see how that goes. And then finally we have this gorgeous lid. I'm going to call it a lid gloss, but it is in the shade dark sea and it is this beautiful glitter um, that is kind of an iridescent color from what I saw online. I'm excited. I'm so excited to try this. I think it's going to look really, really cool. Now we have the Elsa palette. And Elsa palette, same thing as the Anna palette. This beautiful textured embossing done on it. It's gorgeous. It has a silver foil on it instead of the goldy bronze foil. And I 
already love it. Even her face had a little bit of embossing done on it to make it just absolutely gorgeous. And once again, the illustration of Elsa on the front too is just beautiful. So opening it up on the inside, these are very, very different colors than the Anna palette. So in here we have some pinks, a little bit of purple, some more deep mauve red colors, blues, and then silvers and whites as well. So it's kind of the polar opposite in a way of the other palette. The Anna palette is very warm toned, this is very cool toned. So I could definitely see this going for a bit of a more dramatic-ish look, but the Anna palette I could see more every day. Either way, I could definitely see myself using all of these colors at some time or another. So the first color is Cuddle Close. It's a very iridescent white. Next we have Fire. Very soft pink. We have Northern Lights. It's a very nice sparkly kind of pink. There we go. The light's throwing off the colors a little bit. You can kind of see them better when I turn my hand upwards. You can see it's a very nice pink. We then have Gale, which is a very nice purpley color. Actually, this is a beautiful lid shade. This is Mary, and I think it's going to be the same as that gold one in the Anna palette. Yeah, so hard to see because it is that very white silver. It's right up here, but it has that same very glittery texture. It's basically just a pure glitter, to be completely honest. The blue shade is called Winter. My swatch didn't work so well there, but that is a really nice blue color. This is Awaken, which is really beautiful. This is Ice Crystals. Once again, really nice. And the final color is Spindrift, which is once again, wow, I was expecting that to be way more maroon. Look at that purple. I feel like these aren't showing up great on camera, but in person, these here are actually really, really gorgeous. They're just very light, but iridescent. So perfect lid colors, perfect transition colors. And then these ones here, I mean, obviously these are the stars of the show here. Okay, so that's kind of what the swatches of everything looks like. Now we're gonna start playing in the palettes. So because I do just wanna try something light and simple, like I said, it's kind of the end of the day for me, I think I'm gonna dive into the Anna palette. I think this is the one I'm definitely the most excited for. I pulled off that for the mirror. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. So first off, I'm just going to take this giant fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with the shade Wind just a little bit. Do notice it is very powdery when I dip in my brush, so just be aware of that. And then I'm just going to kind of put that all over the crease. Oh wow, that is super pigmented. I didn't expect that much pigmentation, that's actually really nice. This is kind of going to be my transition shade a little bit. And same with the other eye, obviously. Definitely don't put too much in your brush. This eye I went a little hard and it's definitely a lot darker. Um, this one here I went lighter and it's a lot nicer for sure. But I mean, pigmentation is definitely not a bad thing. Next, I'm using a tapered blender brush and I'm gonna go in with Fearless. Once again, very excited for this one. Once again, very powdery, you gotta be really careful. And I'm just once again gonna focus this on my crease. I just tend to, you know, usually build up colors and that's just, you know, the end result when it gets dark enough for me. I do want to add a little bit of pink, I think, so I'm going to go in with Warm Hugs with this same brush. Beautiful colors, but this is going to become a very messy palette, that's for sure. It is very powdery, um, but also very creamy when it does get on your eye, but in the pan, getting it off of the brush, it's very powdery. Wow, that is actually a lot of color payoff for the little bit I was doing. I'm just gonna wipe away some of the fallout. I don't have a ton. I get fallout whenever I do my makeup, so this isn't something that's like new to me. So on my lid, okay, here's what I think we're gonna do for the lid. We are gonna go in with the Elsa palette. In the Elsa palette, we are going to go into the Northern Lights color, which is the beautiful sparkly shade. And we're gonna try this two ways. So first off, I'm just gonna go in with my e.l.f. flat-headed brush, and just like you would any shadow, and I'm gonna put this right on my lid. Kind of blending it into the outer corner. And I mean, that is really beautiful. I do have a lot of powdery fallout, which I know I said I get a lot of fallout. This is a little bit more than normal, I would say, but it still looks really nice. So this I didn't have it, so it may have just been the way I was applying it there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply Fix Plus to it. So if you don't know, a 
trick that you can do is any, even at water spray works, I find setting spray or fix plus actually works the absolute best, but you just spray it on once you have shadow on the brush. And then you're just gonna apply it to your eyelid as normal. You don't wanna get it too wet, just a little damp. And your shadows are going to appear a lot shinier. I don't know how much of a difference, if you guys can see that there's a difference there, but there is definitely a difference there. It looks 10,000% better. And I just do this as a little bit of a topper to add a little more shine. I do this to all my makeup looks. Yeah, I think you guys can definitely see kind of the difference that the Fix Plus makes. Of course though, I am also going to try the new lipstick, which I am dying for. And... This is actually a very nice texture. My favorite lipsticks are the MAC satin ones. So I actually find this very similar to them. The cream ones and the satin ones are fairly similar. The satin ones aren't as shiny. I find they sink into your lips a little better, but this is doing a really good job of that. And that's that. Obviously there are a lot more things to play around with and try out, but for a first impressions, this actually looks kind of crazy. It might be a little much with the orange, the red. We're gonna work on it. Anyway, the colors I used, I am impressed with. The collection itself is very, very affordable. It was under $50 for this whole set. And all this stuff I got, the palette individually is only $15. So if you have a little bit of money to spend and you're looking to get some new nice eyeshadows, I definitely recommend getting at least one of these eyeshadow palettes, if not both of them. From what I can tell, they are are really really nice and especially for the price you can't beat that so with that I'm gonna end this video out here thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it like I said I'm not like a makeup guru by any means but I thought it might be nice to do a little review and let you guys know that this is a really nice collection that you may want to get so thank you guys so much for watching this video like I said I hope you enjoyed and I hope you have a magical rest of your day